Hello, Sienna. I'm live <laughs> here for my Monday night jewelry sale. I'm, I always come on a minute early. That's deliberate. You know, I want to be prompt. <laughs> Look at my little wind up guy. I got this for the baby, but I can't leave it with him. He's, he's old. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, man, my stupid toy. Um, let me move. <laughs> How's everybody doing this evening? No, no, no. Come on. It's a, a blue ladybug. It's an old toy. All right. Hi. I'm here. This is going to be predominantly a buy it now sale. There's a couple of things that'll be auctioned possibly. But I see I have some people here. Hi, Leonor. Let me know if you can hear me. If you say yes, and I'll know. I didn't show it to him yet. I got to take it to him. Hi, Lori. Hi, Irene. Hi, Deb. It's pretty cool, though. It's old. It says, listen, it says worked be works best when aimed directly toward edge rather than sideways approach. Talk about a difficult way to write something, right? Sounds like something I'd write. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> seriously. Though. Hi, Emily. Glenda. Hello. Deb. Lori. Hello. Okay, so you guys can hear me. So I picked more jewelry out, too. I went through some things and found some other items to bring my cat's carrying on for her. All right. She's okay. She's just jumping around. Hi. Hi, Sylvia. I'll get started next. I'll try not to talk too loud. If I'm too loud, turn me down a little bit. I know my voice carries. I've got a long voice for a small woman. You know, I don't even need a microphone if I would public speak, probably. Hi, Gina. Robin, hello. Sharon. <laughs> my voice carries. <clears throat> I'm glad you can hear me, though, because there's issues sometimes you can't with uh, people. But um, if anybody new pops in um, and you're watching, just sub subscribe if you want to speak, even if you're not going to um, purchase, if you would like to, you know, speak in the chat. Hi, Becky. And if you've never bought from me before, email me there, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. Just need to PayPal email address, YouTube name, and the country in which you live. Mostly everything's going to be a buy it now. If I auction anything, it's $5 increments from the start until the end. I think that just makes it easier. Or wait, eh, $2 up to 50 and then five after 50 until completion of sale. How's that? Because I mean, somebody may not want to pay 25 for something. You may want to pay 22 or something, you know, so we'll keep it that. But you know what? This is kind of interesting. I know somebody asked me who the, about this ring before and I was like, oh, it's an artisan. This is an Alexis Batar. I, I didn't know who that was when I first got the ring. This is gifted to me by a woman. Um, I, I cleaned her mini mansion, I call it, and I got a lung infection. That's not why she gifted me, but um, she was, her house was on a construction, by a construction site for one of the hospitals. And there were a lot of rodents in there and I ended up getting a lung infection. But she gave me this and some other very beautiful jewelry. This I kept, I sold the glass necklace to, I don't think she's here, but if you are, hello, you know who you are. Fabulous. I sold it for a lot cheaper than what it was worth. I know that, but I'm glad she likes it. But this one's fantastic. Um, it's an Alexis Batar. No idea. Sterling rhinestone dangle ring, it's called. There was one sold on Poshmark. Hi, Sarah. If you're new here, I don't remember if I sold you. If I have it and you want to buy, just email me here. VintageJewelryGalartYahoo.com but anyways, yeah, kind of funny. <clears throat> I decided to look at the name today on the ring because I put it on. Because I, I didn't um, show it in my little favorite, some of my favorite things videos. I didn't show everything. But I really like the ring. Do I like it any more now than I know it's uh, Alexis Batar? Not really. <laughs> but it's fabulous. It's a fabulous ring. Hi, Sue. Hello, Melanie. A couple of you who, who are... Uh, at the sales every week who've already paid priority. I kept your packages. Um, I'll mail them out tomorrow if you don't purchase anything else, unless you ask me to hold it. Um, I kept, there was a few of you asked me to, and then some I just kept, um, because they, you know, because you come week after week. Snicks. <laughs> I was drinking honey tea. 
out of my huge owl. Those are my lovebirds. <laughs> it's a cute cup. It's I have tea with honey. Um, it does seem to help. My throat's a little, um, I sound like Marge Simpson. A little pilly. All right, I'll get started at 10 after. I like to wait a couple of minutes and let everybody come in and say hello and everything. But I have like 50 pieces picked out, which is insane. Um, <laughs> like a crazy amount, but you know, I, why not? If I don't get through it all, I'll get through it all. I'm not in any hurry tonight, though. I could stay on three hours as long as I can physically handle it. And I have people here for me. Um, well, thank you. Yeah, I've I've been I've been starting to collect. Uh, there's I have a preference. Um, not completely. It's no rhyme or reason with me and anything really. I'm all over the place, but I do like the 1940s jewelry. Um, I do. That's my main. But not all of it's 1940s. Can't get all of that. Um, you know, it's all like gold and silver and stuff from back then. That's not why I like it. But hi, Kate. <laughs> But I, I, I've been collecting now, and it's, it's uh, I found some fabulous pieces, really. I was surprised when I was looking through some of it. That's, and it didn't make me feel better. I, I had a bad day yesterday. I don't even know why. Everybody has a gloomy day occasionally, you know, where you feel drained and just, like, really, like, ugh. Like, I don't know. It wasn't good. But um, I'm fine now. And, and I knew I'd be fine. You always recover from that type of thing. I'm healthy as far as I know, and um, things could be worse, I know that, so no reason to, I think it was just, I don't know, it was a rough day, I'm getting over being sick, yeah, yeah, it's hard, it is, there's a, there's things I would love to have, I know I can't afford, even if I find them, and they're worth more money, I sell them, you know what I mean, um, like the pearls, when I found the Tiffany Iridesk pearls, I sold them, and I kept, um, cheaper ones for myself i sold the better ones um because i needed money yeah i gotta start exercising myself it's good that you are hi emily really i i hate that though you know well i don't hate it i'm like to my daughter i'm having a rough day she's like what do you mean and you know, obviously she's still my child even though she's a grown woman i'm not gonna like whine to her she's got enough to worry about besides me whining it's like come on whine do you <laughs> You guys and showed you some jewelry. It made me happy. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna get started. It's eight oh seven. I have why only have twenty five people here. Is that all I'm getting here today? Maybe. Who cares? That's enough, right? I'll wait. I'll wait a few minutes. Usually I have a little more than that. But um I might did my remote did my uh thing show that I was coming on. I didn't get one, but why would I? Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Yeah, thank you, Irene. Irene just said that. Correct. <laughs> I just looked at only at 13. That's why I said that. They typically, um, they claim it helps your video go through the algorithm. I really don't know if it does. So, if I have anybody that's waiting for anything in particular, if they're here and they have to go, you can ask me. I'm okay with that as long as it's something I can get, you know, get to. But, um, hi, Verna. I brought a couple Christmassy things. That are cute. Well, not really. Well, too. They listen to house and I brought a tree. <gasps> a variety of things. Yeah, I don't always get them. Hi, Allison. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. Thank you. I am. Thank God. Yeah, I, I guess that's... Um, everywhere for everybody then i was i didn't get them all i did get misty's today i was in the middle of something at the time um i went and watched the baby i hope i didn't get him sick he has a he had a fever well apparently i did get him sick i tried not to i'm his only caregiver besides his mother um ugh, i hope he doesn't get sick i'm a little worried about that honestly all right i'm gonna get started it's almost 10 after let me get started i'll start off with um I don't know, something. <laughs> Try to, I'll show something I haven't showed before. How about this little Lucinda house? House by Lucinda. It's a cute little. This is going to be a buy it now. House pins. Oh my God, is that still on there? 
my video of me telling about my fight and it's, I thought I removed the one because people I don't know I think I was really obnoxious about the person stealing my packages I took that one down I was like I, I <laughs> get in for I'm inappropriate sometimes I try not to be but it happens I was upset somebody kept stealing my packages and it was the very beginning when I was really struggling um it was pretty terrible okay this is a um house pins by lucinda it's like a christmas scene it's a pretty big one this is cute i know it's somebody that collected these can't remember who it is it's about diagonal it's it's two and a half inches approximately three inches something like that this if anybody wants to house pins by lucinda it's it's 10. it's cute it has a christmas tree on it their stuff's pretty well made. It's raised. They have a lot, a variety of different types. There's a cloud for a little raindrop. Check that out. The color contrast is cool. It's like a top in a black and white, like a, you know, top color back there. Top, T-A-U-P-E. That's what I'm talking about. Little Lucinda pin. Hi, Kirsten. <clears throat> I think I got rid of that one. Um, what were you saying? Oh, okay. So I guess I'll pass on this one. I don't see any interest. Oh, wait a minute. Just make sure you're in live chat and you only have to say want no price for things as I move on, unless I'm auctioning it. This is obviously, so buy it now. It's 10 bucks, but I'll pass on it. I think it, it was an announcement. It may still be up. I'll tell you what it was later. I'm looking, <laughs> I think I took it down. It was kind of embarrassing after the fact I was angry um <laughs> get angry occasionally all right we'll pass on that and i'm not gonna put it there it's like all right i don't know how about these little things hi christine are you new here welcome if you are thank you for coming If it's private i can let you see it no i'm kidding i think i insulted a couple of people i lost some subscribers that time i mean i i try not to get heated i i'm a passionate person i feel deeply <laughs> and i get angry it's not a good thing um, i was upset more than angry i'm not a mean person it was terrible i had so much stolen off of me that period so it was like five packages um bad people still like that yeah thank you welcome and thank you for coming all right these are nice these um up top is uranium they're clips let me hang let me get one of my velvety clips okay real quick before i get moving here um i gotta find it there it is right behind me let me smoke the first slip must over i kind of wiped them off with tape i can't find any of my lint brushes okay oh hi hi um Hedron. Um, you can just email me here at vintage jewelry galore at .com. I only need your um I just need your PayPal email address, YouTube name in the country in which you live. Yeah, you know, if you're in the United States, just say United States or wherever you live, um, what country you live in if it's other than the US. But hello, thank you for coming. These are fabulous. Um Oh, let me fix them. They're like twisted up. They don't have a marking on them. They're, they're a brass finish and that's uranium up top. These are little clip earrings. Hydrogen. Oh, how do you know how to pronounce it, Gina? You know them. <laughs> My pronunciations are bad. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, okay. Hi, Jeroen. Okay. All right. Thank you. And thank you, Sarah. All right. These are uranium up here, and it's all glass. I don't know if they're crystal or not. I, I'm just calling them glass. They look like it would be like crystal, but I don't know if they are. These are, they're not pierced, they're clips. I taped my uh, thing down so I don't knock it off tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't even catch that. All right. This right here is, um, if anybody wants these, they are, 
Oh, another 16. Uranium up top. And their bezel set. Those are like little chains or dangle earrings, clips. I feel like this is up high. Like I need a box to set stuff on. <clears throat> They do glow up there, if that makes sense. I have my flashlight here. Hi, Tracy. Look, it's it's a handy uranium up top and then um, yeah, glass or crystal. Let me grab my tea. All right, let me put these down for a minute now. God, that looks like it needs lowered. Um, We'll be okay. Like I'm going to get a box to put my things on top of in case I need to. This acid box has been handy. All right, one second. We'll pass on those two. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna drink some of my honey tea before it gets nasty. All right, I'll pass on those little clips. Um, I don't know what to show. Is there anything anybody's waiting to see? Huh. Maybe not. Um, I haul. How about these? These are fabulous. These are cadmium. These are Judy Lee cadmium earrings. Fantastic. Clip earrings. Signed Judy Lee. You know, J-U-D. Judy Lee, yeah. Okay. Here they are. They're fantastic. And isn't that weird, Kathy, right as she said it? Um, these are cadmium. I showed them in my video. Okay. Um, they're fantastic. If anybody wants these, they are clips. The clip's good. They're signed Judy Lee. They're in new light. They're in new condition. They're fabulous. They're pronged, fully pronged. And they're a little over an inch. I'm moving. Yeah, that's weird. I just think they're fantastic, so why not? Um, these are 30 if anybody wants them. And they are cadmium. Cool. They're pronged, like sawtooth hair. <laughs> sawtooth. Um. Lori came in first, or she's the only one that came in. Um, Kathy. I remember, I was calling it dog tooth and it's saw tooth. That was a while ago, I remember. Okay, Lori, thank you. They're fabulous. They're pretty marvelous, I thought. Um, I could tell they are cadmium just by, by looking at them. They have an inner glow. Okay. Ink just, uh, I don't know. Okay, I said 30, right? All right, thank you. Put that in there. I have a nice pair of Steiner. I believe they're peaking glass. And you're welcome. Thank you. I thought they were fabulous, too. I have some Edwin Pearl. Erwin Pearl is the Edwin. Erwin, I call him Edwin by accident. Um... All right, let me see. Should I go earrings or necklace? How about this? How about the Moon Glow Loose Sight set? I think it's pretty cool. Look, it's a little, um, I'll measure it. I don't, look, little bracelet. Like a little memory bracelet, kind of, yeah. Moon Glow Loose Sight, pink for this and then I'll measure the necklace there's that and there's a matching vintage necklace with it they're, they're both vintage I think this is short <clears throat> it is yeah it's pretty short it can be worn um, uh, like 13 to 16 inches so it's light and light enough to be a choker on your neck um, I can wear it down a little bit lower it has a breast Jayhawk and Brass Findings. All right. It's a little... Do you see the Glow Moon Glow Loose Sight set? If anybody wants this set, I it is... It's 25 for the set. It's pretty. These are a plastic acrylic acrylic or plastic. 
you know, it has a safety, cha- not a safety, an extender back here. And it has the uh, all the moon glow loose sights on the back chain. It's brass findings. That's a set. It's cute. It's in good shape. It's not faded or scratched up or anything. I'll leave that there for a minute while I look for something else. See if anybody decides they want it. I have a real, I have a Florenza. I have my Ross Simmons. I'm auctioning that. I have the 20, the 18 inch one. Does anybody want to see the Ross Simmons? It's fabulous. 18 inch. I'm going to start at nearly half of what it's worth. Okay. So this um, is a pass. I'll pass on that. Let me show the Ross Simmons. I don't know if there's any interest. If not, that's okay. It's fabulous. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. This is fabulous. Okay. Comes in a box. <laughs> Ross Simmons. This is the 18 inch one. They come in 16, 18, and 20 inch, and the price varies by that. This is 14 karat gold, um, pearl class, ruby. And hello, Jennifer. Thank you for joining us. These are gold 14K too, and that's a pearl. So this one's the 18 inch one. This is an auction item. I start this at, at 150. I don't know if anybody priced it. I, in case anybody was interested, I did um, give the information up front so you could price it if you want it. That's 14K and 14K balls, pearl, and this is ruby. And this is the 18 inch uh, Ross Simmons, ruby and pearl. It's a lovely necklace, very lovely. The 18 inch, there's a 20 inch one too, but this one's 18 inches. It's very pretty. I may put this one online instead of keeping it. Sometimes when I show things, if I don't sell, I take it upon myself to say, I guess that means I can keep it. But this one I think I'll probably put online. It'll sell pretty easy at that, I think, at that price. A little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's, it comes with the original box. Goes in there. And it's in new condition. But I'll leave it here for a minute. And it's a little high priced. I know that if... I mean, it's not high price for the item. It's worth that. I'm just saying it's a high price item, like to buy an auction. If if it's not, you know, if you don't have the money, I understand that. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. Let me see what else I brought. Um, I don't know if it I have that little ring, the little fella. All right, I'm gonna pass on this. I think it was long enough. If anybody sees this, I will consider that. Um probably. If you come on, I'll pass on it. Let me move it somewhere where it's not going to get anything on the box. All right. Pass on that one. I have the sterling bracelet. Should I show that? Ooh. Trafari. I'm going to show the signer earrings. Um, these are they're signer. C-I-N-E-R. And um, I think they're, you know, P-E-K-I-M, Peking class. What's that? Somebody said something. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, you do? Yeah, I really like that box. It's cool. Um, Which ones we, in the Asian cork? What Asian? Oh, this? Oh, you're not talking about that which one we talk about that one's nice too okay let me these are the signer they're signed in the back of the clip c-i-n-e-r i'm gonna offer them at a price and see if anybody wants them um that's a textured finish that one oh okay i see what you're talking about i'm sorry oh yeah on the, the uh artwork on the inside of it on the top. All right. Yeah, and happy Thanksgiving. All right, these are signer. And I'll just I'll just offer these at this if anybody wants them. They're 50. <coughs> they're vintage. Um and they're signed C I N E R back there. That's a signature. 
right there. They're open in the back. That's what they look like, the clip, the, that's the writing. Okay. I'm gonna, I need to put those up there. Probably not, they're good right there, right? This is my acid box. It's perfect for that. I <laughs> like to hold stuff on. I It's cool, cool. Everything stands up on it. So I don't have to worry about um, about spilling it. It was spilling within the container. Yeah, Thanksgiving's um, pretty delicious. I don't like cooking anymore, though, honestly. I mean, that's a terrible thing to admit, probably, but... All right, I guess we'll pass on the signers. Let me put them, I gotta find somewhere better to put this stuff. Let me move it over here. All right. I don't want. All right, I'm gonna offer this little fella. This is signed W-R-E, um, it's 1 20th of 12 karat gold. W-R-E, 1 20th of 12 karat. This is a, um, I don't remember, it's, this is a gemstone. It's a stone, it's not glass. It has the signature, the hieroglyphics in the back. And it's gold filled. This is a little owl. And this, um, I, I'll... This is 20 if anybody wants it. He's about an inch, maybe a little bit over. He's cute. Little hoot owl, gold filled with a W-R-E. It's W-E Richards Company. They, they're they vintage. They're found in 1901. I did see that today when I looked to see what their name was. Hi, Lupe. They're pretty cool. Bloodstone. It's green. Chrysophase or something. I can't pronounce it. I saw a large one. There was a large one of these. Um, the same thing. And, but it was bigger. Like double the size of this when I was looking online for the what the WRE stamp stood for. Because I couldn't remind, remember. But it's cool. It's a low vintage pin. Thank you for coming, Lupe. Oh, Bloodstone is green. Hi, Jeannie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I'm going to is, have I held him long enough? I think so. The little gold-filled um, gemstone scarab out. I think it was long enough, right? I'll pass on it. How are you doing, Jeannie? Yeah, I'm not worried. Thank you, though. All right. Let me see. Yeah, I do I do enjoy my sale. So I don't know what to show you guys. Is there anything anybody's waiting for? How about the Florenza? Yeah. Oh, hi, Quiver. Give me a thumbs up, correct, Carrie. It's Quiver. This is Florenza. No, this is. I'm going to auction this. Nah, am I going to auction it? No. No, I'm not. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, I am. I'll start it at what I would want to sell it, what I would be comfortable accepting it at. 250 <laughs> I'm joking. <clears throat> this is Florenza Royal purple there is a little weir on the front i want to make that noted not much just right on the center piece here can you see that okay um it's signed florenza and it's beautiful double it's a spring ring clasp double chains i'm, I'm gonna auction this i'm gonna start this this, I'm going to start this at 50, and then I'm going to measure it. It's beautiful. It's Florenza. Royal purple, if that's a such thing. I think so. Looks like amethyst. But it's not. It's it's rhinestone, obviously. It's not. There's the backs. It's very pretty. I'll measure it, okay, on on the front. I mean, from the top, drop down. It's it's um 22 inches, the shortest chain, a, do, a drop of 14 and a half. Nice. Thank you, Sylvia. It's beautiful. Florenza. Florenza's beautiful jewelry. Bloodstone. I don't know what bloodstone is. I'm going to have to look it up. I might keep it if it's something good. 
I need positive energy. Okay, so I see Sylvia, Lady Sylvia's in at 50. I'll give it just a minute to see if anybody else comes in. It's double chain and it's vintage. Not exactly sure how old, 60s, probably, I think, maybe. Florenza. Okay. Oh, um, oh, what did Jean, look at the big brain on Gina. Oh, okay, let me pay attention to what I'm doing. I want to see what she said. I don't know what Bloodstone is, guys. All right, so I only see Sylvia, and so I'm just going to call it just like a buy it now. It's fine. Five, four, three, two. So this lady Sylvia for 50. It's very beautiful. Thank you. I got to take it offline. <laughs> I have it online. Um, some of my things I put online and then I, I bring them in. Some things sell immediately and not all of them do. Um, I've had things so like within the day. You're welcome. Thank you. Look, I found him. Remember that little sneak I told you about? I put him in there if you want him. <laughs> he's, not, he's not diamonds or anything. It's costume. But he's cute. All right. Let me see. I have some vitriol glass and then some that's not vitriol glass. I have this. This is 91 point. Yeah, that I, I, I don't know what I'm keeping that for a while. That's going back to the safety deposit box. <laughs> I do keep things like that in a safety deposit box. Only the fact that I don't feel safe where I live. If I felt safe where I lived, I'd just have it, like, in my room or in a drawer in a safe or something. But I don't feel safe here. So anything that's worth over a certain amount, I do take. And I put, I open safety deposit box. Um, you know, because I don't feel completely safe here, unfortunately. You're welcome. It's very beautiful, though. Um, all right. This is 91.7 grams. And I, they all test as sterling, but a couple of them stick to a magnet slightly. And I know some people um, say that it can be slightly magnetic, but I, I don't really agree with that thing. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert on anything, so I, I'm probably wrong. Who knows? And you're welcome. So the ones that were slightly magnetic, let me, I'm just going to tell you, this child's face one, the safe. It's marked sterling and it tests as sterling, but it did kind of stick to a magnet. Hi, Donna. Um, the Bible that has the Lord's Prayer in it. I'll tell you what I have here, too. I This is, okay, I'm going to auction this, and I'm going to start it high. And don't think I'm crazy because it's worth that. Um, <laughs> that's, um, I'll tell you. It's starting at 150. We'll see if anybody's interested. Okay, let me open up. It's a vintage rhythm. Um charm bracelet that weighs 91.7 grams it has a safety chain on it. it this is glass it's a sand hourglass um a baby shoe that's sterling this safe I, i'm calling it safe as a money sign on it. it's like a box um the lord's prayer it has the lord's prayer inside this bible it opens and it's actually handwritten in there kind of cool then the beige child's face. This is the one that's slightly magnetic, but test is sterling. Um, I this is a subway car. I think this is well sterling, and it's full sterling. Well sterling, it moves. There's like a person on each end. It's a little trolley car. Let me open it up. That way I can show it better. It's like clamored here. One second. It's a nice bracelet, actually. Okay, so I got down to that. There is a bell that rings actually that has a ringer in it um disney world sterling charm a leprechaun a leprechaun not leprechaun <laughs> a wreath with um a christmas wreath with a bell on it what else this is the um this is a flying bird in its catalina it's signed this, these things go for a decent amount themselves. I looked them up. It's a flying fish, not bird. A flying fish, I'm sorry. Um, bridge. I don't know. Golden Gates, maybe. It's Sterling. What else? Um, telephone. This moves. The dialing moves. Sterling telephone. This one says, Happy Birthday. This one says, Merry Christmas. 
a nice little cap that looks like my nephew, my grandson's cap, Junior. Kind of looks Siamese, right? It's like a 1950s cap. <laughs> a Buddha. I don't believe that is Jade. Okay, just want to be out front there. I'm not calling it Jade. And then this is a Gemini symbol. This is vintage. It has the Gemini uh, Gemini twins on it. It says Gemini. Um, Gemini twins on this side. Okay, so is that everything? The phone, the cat, the, the Catalina, the bell, the Bible. Okay, yeah. And it has the safety chain on. And this is a little over seven inches. This comes off. This is solid sterling. Weighs seven, 91.7 grams. I have it online. I haven't sold it yet. I have some watchers, but I mean on Mark Harry. Um, but it hasn't sold yet. It's been on there a few days. I just put it on. But there it is. All right. If no interest, that's fine. I mean, that's, I wouldn't want to sell it any less than that because it's, it's almost 100 grams of sterling. Well, it's 92 almost. But if no interest, I'll pass on it. I'm just going to leave it hang there for a minute. It's got 18 charms total. All right. <laughs> Who knows? If it sits for like a month or two, maybe I'll bring it back for less. <laughs> Not this time, though, because I... I, I believe it's worth at least double that. Okay. We'll pass on that. Um, it is a vintage uh, chain, too. All right. Let me see. Um, I have these Mallorca pearls. Love her being the interest on these. these this is nice. Strong on, um, they're strong, so with that class. Great. Um, they're really nice. You got it for two two forty. Yeah, I've seen them for more, but yeah, two forty. That's that's probably a good price for it. It depends on how much it weighs. And I've seen them for a lot more. I saw a really great one of Native American like charms hanging off of it. That's like at like four fifty or four ninety or something like that. But the charms were better than the ones I have. Mine are pretty cool on there, I think. Cool enough. But this one had like Native American charms, a couple of them hanging right off of it. It all depends on the weight of it and what's going with it. They um but anyways, this this is the Mayorka Pearls, M-A-L-L-O-R-C-A. And I don't know the details of it, so I gave the information if anybody liked it so they can look beforehand. I know they're not real. They're, like, made with crushed stuff. So many. <laughs> I'll give you the shortest, like, let me do that right now, Christina. Christine, you're not Christina. Okay. Yeah, I think it's 16 inches, but I'm going to open it. It's a beautiful necklace. It's weight. It's heavy weight. It's not glass. It's It's a little different than that. I believe it's crushed, crushed up pearls. I, I don't know all the details of it, honestly. Um, it's, all right, it's saying, um, I'm going to say 16 inches. Old Hollywood. Yes, yeah, so in 1950s, that's what you said on the class, and I think you're probably right. I was thinking Art Deco initially because of the way it looked, but no. Okay, so these are beautiful. Um, let me see. I did price them. I, I went on and looked at the different Mallorca pearls and how much they were charging for them and so forth. They're pretty heavy. I mean, not so heavy that they're going to break somebody's neck or something. I don't know what to ask for them, honestly. Um, let me put a price in, see if anybody's interested in them. I like them. Um, I, I did price them. Hopefully this is too, it's not too high. It's 75 if anybody wants them. If not, that's fine. I You are missing two little rhinestones right here. It's a fold-over clasp, and it's, it's a beautiful necklace, actually. Triple strand. And I'm saying 16. It's close to 17 on this one. 
but 16 inch triple strand and it's graduated in length, if you can call it that. All right, Sophia, I figured you'd like this. It's marvelous, feels marvelous. They may be real. No, they're not real. We're all real. If, if all world pearls aren't, they look real. I mean, look at them. They did a marvelous job at making this. Thank you. I've had them for a while. I, I didn't know what they were. Until I found that single one. I mean, remember the single large one? The brook that I sold you. And um, I looked. These and pretty decent stuff that these are. Thank you. <coughs> They're really beautiful, actually. You're gonna like that. The glass one I'll bring soon. That one's nice. You can tell the difference between the glass and those in the Majorca. They they're completely um different the way they feel. All right. All right, all right. I'm gonna try. Let me see. I don't know about the little Thunderbird ring of car. <laughs> I'd, I'd seen, um, I don't know how to price this, what I, what I mean by that. Okay. This is a cameo ring glass. It's, it's nice. This is seven and a half inches. Look, it's signed 925 high down here. And it's nice details. That's mother of pearl. It's big. This is over an inch, this face on it. Look. Here, I'll put it, take the little Alexa. Well, I actually probably should put it on the middle one, but there it works there. It's big. I have small hands. Um, can't believe I didn't know that was Alexis Batar. It's kind of humorous, honestly. Um, <laughs> ridiculous that I didn't know what that was. <clears throat> the ring I have on. Um, I was like, oh, it's an artisan when somebody asked me. It's This is almost an inch and a half. It's like an inch and one quarter. Okay, yeah, good, good. I, I'll, I, um... Still trying to learn pearls. They're hard. All right. This is Cameo. I'm going to make. It's fabulous the way it's made. Look. It is sterling. I tested it. I would weigh it with just a stone on it. But it's got a good weight to it. It's not a cheap ring. Um, It's well made. It's all sought one piece. Soldered sterling. It's not like bits and pieces. And it's Cameo that I've upside down. This, if anybody wants it, this is pretty marvelous. It's 50. I like it. I think it is. And again, it's a seven and a half on here. Look. That's backgrounds glass, and then that's mother of pearl over top. It's pretty nice details. Yeah, ladies, she has some beautiful jewelry. All right. Sorry. Let me put it on a thing and stick it here, maybe. The details on the back are very nice the way it's made. It's pretty. Let me move this. Let's take it. It's not my water over, guys. <clears throat> Let me. There. I'm going to leave that there. I don't like this. Song. I always. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right on my papers. Okay. The, I don't know. I'm, this is Mother of Pearl. The background, I. I, let me let me look at it for a minute to find glass. I think it's just glass in the background. It's glass, I think. That's mother of pearl. She's mother of pearl. This is sterling silver. And it's it's pretty heavy, but I wouldn't weigh it. There's a stone on it, but it, it's a well made nice look, it's nice ring. It's not it's not cheaply made. I don't know. I'm assuming that's glass. I don't believe it's stone. I've never seen stone that look like that. But this is mother of pearl. And I'll put it back on a thing and I'll sit it here for a minute. Sterling silver and mother of pearl and glass, I'm going to say. <clears throat> of some sort. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Donna. It's beautiful. I think I already wrapped your thing up. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. I'll open it up and I'll get. I'll see if I can fit this in there for the same price. Okay. I think I'll email you and I'll I'll PayPal you without shipping and see if I can squeeze this into that package. If not, I'll cancel your label and remake one. Okay. Didn't you sort of order them out? I, yeah. 
and I'll I'll just print another label. I could get my money back because it'll definitely ship both pieces for six. So I don't want to charge you shipping again. All right, I didn't ship them yet. They just got wrapped up today. <clears throat> the ones that were lingering. Okay, so this is fifty. Thank you. It is very beautiful. It's a nice ring. I've never seen one like it before. I think you understand what I meant by that ring. <laughs> The malachite necklace was very nice that you got. I have a little malachite ring here I can show. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, why? I don't want to charge extra shipping. Does anybody know who Jaren is? J A R I N. These are nice. These are nice. They're all nice, in my opinion. So I picked them out. But look. Beautiful. Black and clear crystals. Silver tone. Signed J A R O N in the back here. No, J A R I N. Did I say O N? Here's the back. They're crystals if they're open. And they're 95, it says. And I didn't test them. They've already been plating on. Let me see. Like there's a plating over that. But it says 925, and these are Jaren. They have they have some nice earrings, and the price range is a is a vast um I've seen from, I, I, I didn't know how to price them, but I'm going to give a fair price on them. They're very lovely, I think. <coughs> I don't even think I, let's make a price up. Okay. You're welcome. I'm good. I'm glad to do that for you. Beautiful, aren't they? Black, those are black crystals and clear crystals. These are Jaren, vintage Jaren says 95 i did not test them they're beautiful though i've had these for a while and i think that it's definitely crystal and it's either blue or black they look like sapphires they're not i tested to make sure because it looks like a dark dark sapphire it's my first stone sapphire um <clears throat> but anyways these i will sell for i'll sell them for 30 if anybody wants them they're lovely They're like very classy looking earrings. They're half of a hoop. Like this way, they're probably three quarters of an inch, and they're an inch at least a little bit over that way. Let me put them. These were laying back on my stand. I've had them for a <clears throat> while. I think I offered them like months ago. Um. All right. Am I too close? I feel like I need more room. This desk is pretty huge, too. Let's let me. I'll put them right here and I'll look for something else and I'll pass on them. I have the Coro Pegasus in the 1940s. Um, what happened in this little gold gilt cameo? It's a base metal underneath. It's not sterling. Um, as far as I know, I mean, it's slightly magnetic, so I'm, not, I'm assuming it's not. These I'll pass on. <clears throat> Let me show this one. I'm going to offer it for a good price. Look up here. It's Shell Cameo. See, look, it's gilt. That's a Shell. It is Shell. See. She's pretty. She doesn't have a ponytail or her hair short. I don't know the dating on the brooch. I'm not going to even try to guess. It's pretty, though. If anybody wants this one, um, 22 for this. It's over an inch. It's probably an inch and a half that way. A shell cameo. It's gold gilt. Gold plated, basically. <laughs> Let me measure it. It's about an inch and a half. She has a small nose. I really don't know the dating on it at all. I'd, I, I don't know. What do you think? Anybody want to toss a guess out there for me? Okay. Hi. Hi, um, T. Hi, hi. Okay. Hydrun, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um. I'm going to call you Hydrun. Hopefully it's right. It's pretty. It's a very nice cameo. This show. Thank you. Did you email me? I, I don't know. If, I, if you haven't, just email me here. You see it. 
vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com and thank you how are you doing d put this away carefully um goodness i feel like <coughs> i got should have more room here <coughs> it's pretty big in here like the desk especially compared to what i used to like work on it's like a lot bigger but now it's becoming uh packed okay all right thank you <clears throat> 1940s you think she's pretty i thought it was pretty um i have a decent amount i've been collecting and i start selling them <laughs> slowly why not how what's next that owl is so cute i'll probably keep him um listen to me how about this this is this is cute to say simple it's opens you can put something in there and no not today the copper face lady what do you mean the one it's the one i said i think it's an artisan piece the one with the clay underneath the mold and everything. not now i don't even know who the maker is on it i'm trying to figure that out i think it's um a big time uh artist artisan and I think it's read. I've lost a paper. I have to find it. I did some research on it. All right. This is a simple necklace. It's cool, though. You open it up and you can put something in it. Poison or whatever you want. It's costume. It's cool. Little daisies painted on it. Oh, you do? Good, good. Yeah, that was nice. I wore my heart on it once. Um, it's a fantastic. That's a very, um, that watch chain was amazing. All right. This is costume. It's cool. That's about to an inch and a half. <clears throat> Let me tell you the chain, because if you're going to wear it, you'll want to know um, if it's going to fit your neck, right? Um, it's about, I don't know, 17 inches, I'd say. That that, that uh, watch chain is amazing. I really liked it, but I, like I said, I keep some myself on that. So that's what I'm doing for a living. Got to make money. All right. I'm um, going to sell some stuff, right? I do keep stuff, though, as you guys saw. That was a portion that I have more than what I showed. And occasionally I pull out of it. That was one thing I tended on keeping, but I pulled it out. And <clears throat> I'm glad you like it. It's fabulous. Um, this, if anybody wants this little necklace, this is $18. It's cute. They're painted on there. Little daisies painted on it. Adorable little thing. Little glass opens up. You can put something in here whatever you want. It's sale, so it will not spill. Perfume, poison, <laughs> choking. <clears throat> whatever you want. Okay. Thank you, Hydrun. I, I hope Hydrun, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Can I, can I just call you Hyde and fight you getting insulted? Um, my pronunciations are awful. The longer you watch me, you'll, you'll see that. Um, thank you. This is a cute necklace. I liked it. My child liked it too. She can't have everything. If you're watching Eva, you better be getting your work made up. And um, <laughs> she watches me sometimes. Yeah, that's that's cute. Yeah, you could. It's, it's it looks like it should glow. I put it under. I put everything under the um under the light at this point, and it did not glow. Like my Coro, my one pair of Coro uh, sterling earrings, they glow green. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> high turn. Okay, high turn. All right, thank you. All right. I get nervous about it. <laughs> I'm not pronouncing things wrong. I'm not going to lie about that. All right, let me show you. Well, this, I, I offer, I'm going to offer this. I don't, oh, should I? One of the Marcus sites. Maybe I could just replace the Marcus site. Never mind. I'm not going to offer it. Look, one of the Marcus sites are like broken off on this. Oh, wait. It's Onyx and Sterling and Marcus site. <clears throat> I think this is a Deco revival. This is very pretty. Those are rhinestones set in there. Well, not set. They're not pronged, but none are, none are missing. There's the back. Look. It's pretty. It's a fold over class. Let me make sure none of them are missing out of the class. 
They are. Why are the rhinestones always missing out of the class on things? That's annoying. Let me make sure there's no other rhinestones missing while I'm looking at this bracelet. Um, I'll sell it <clears throat> for a good price if anybody's interested. Um, they It's a fold-over clasp, and they're both missing out of there. And I'm thinking this is Deco Revival. It's a bracelet, obviously. Let me measure it. It's pretty. I You can barely tell they're missing. I'll show it to you again. It's seven inches. It's short. Let me make sure it's even seven. Hold on, make me a little shorter. Let's see if they have a really <clears throat> small arm to fit this. This is, it is seven. It's a seven inch bracelet. And it's pretty. Fold over clasp. I'll show you where they're missing. Those, there's two rhinestones missing in the clasp. This is pretty. It's a pretty bracelet. This, if anybody's interested in this, <clears throat> I'll sell it for twenty-two. If I if I don't sell it, I'll, I'll fix those rhinestones. Where is my thing? I don't know what happened to the holder. There it is. <laughs> it's pretty. It's um. It looks like it's a rhodium plating back there. It's very lovely, actually. Okay, Donna. Thank you. And congrats. It's it's a nice. I have another one hanging up. I think that one's actually deco, but it's. I don't know if it is or not. So. Um, the other one looks like pot metal in the back. It's older, I think. Okay, so this is 22. And Donna. All right, thank you. Let me find your bag. Wait a minute. Why'd I give you another bag? Here, let me put hydrogens in here. <coughs> and Donna's is the lovely ring. Thank you. Again. All right. I have a number of things here. Are some new things. I, I actually have these. This is a designer, a um, an, an Navajo person. These are James P I O C H E. I don't know how to spell that. I mean, how to set P O C H E. P I O C H E. <laughs> Get a cup of coffee. I had a cup of coffee You're rather late. Look, they're signed with his name back here. Oh, you I don't sing. I, I don't sing. I'm not a singer of singings. Um, plus, it won't sound good. I, I'm not a singer. These are, uh, there they are. Sterling James Pioshi, if I'm pronouncing it right. He's Navajo. These are pretty cool. He's, they, um, I think they look kind of like, I don't know what they're supposed to be. They're earrings, okay? <laughs> but look at that. Like, that kind of looks like. I don't know if it's supposed to be flowers or what, but I'm just going to put buy it now price in. His stuff goes for 50 if anybody's interested. James Pioche's Navajo Silversmith, P-I-O-C-H-E. Loretta, you want these? They're fantastic. That's a good deal for them. If you know who he is, maybe you do. I didn't know who he was until I picked him up, but that is a good deal. Thank you. And I've sold to you before, right, Loretta? Just recently, I think, right? I'm pretty sure I have. 50 for these. Yeah, I have. I, I remember printing out your um, label, like, last week. Thank you. That's a good buy. And congrats. Thank you. I got them for a good deal. And I didn't want to put them online and sit them. <laughs> no, plus trying to bring nice things. They they kind of look like machine age in a sense. He's like considered a I mean Silver Smith are artists. Aren't they? All right, now. Okay. <laughs> this is Coropegasus celluloid. And when I was researching it, I think it said 1940s. I don't know the dating on it. I so I'm not gonna say that. I guess I should retract that. It is Coro Pegasus, has a Pegasus in the back and says Coro. It's celluloid. This is Romeo and Juliet. I collect Coro, but I, I don't need them all. 
This is 50 if anybody wants it. It's like two inches across. If nobody wants it, then I'll keep it. <laughs> <clears throat> That's <laughs> telling myself. Um, I probably won't keep it if nobody wants it. I, I do collect Coro. It's two inches across this way and like an inch and a half up and down. Romeo and Juliet and celluloid. He's out in the garden. She's up on the balcony. It's cool. I'd seen prices all over the place on this one. I mean, the ones that I saw once sold somewhere and then there was one floating. But um, let me find a little earring thing like to hang it on so I can set it down. I need better. I need other tools. I don't like, like really want to spend money on them. But there we go. <clears throat> it's fabulous. Cora has beautiful jewelry. It's one that I've yet to get the book on. But I collect it. I like the Coro Sterling. Um, I have a few pieces of that. And a uh, number, actually, I've been finding Coro left and right. And, and I like it. All right, I'll pass on that. Here. Let's get into the box. <laughs> I'll keep that one. Because the prices, I noticed sometimes you'll see a fluke. Somebody will have something priced extremely cheap. And then it'll sell. And then they come back out and prices change. So I've been trying to keep that in mind and think a little smarter about how I sell things online anyways, you know, um, because they change. It varies. And I'm learning that since I've been doing a short period of time that I have, <clears throat> I've been selling for a year on YouTube. Gina and I had the auction together. Well, first I did it for Misty. I think it was August. And then Gina and I were back in August too, or, she, or Misty's treasure chest was July. And then Gina and I did it together in August. We auctioned first together. If you guys see that one. But um, anyways, this is signed Sterling on here. This is Dragon's Breath. It's a stick pin. And it's a nice Dragon's Breath. It's opened in the back. This is actually Dragon's Breath. If anybody wants this, it's um, it's 20 if anybody's interested in a Dragon's Breath stick pin. I'm limited at the Dragon's Breath that I find. Dragon's Breath is out in the wild anyways, like I call it the wild. Like, I shop local. I buy all my things in stores for the most part. And I hardly ever see this. I need to start venturing to online selling, I think. Buying, I mean. Eventually. I mean, not really. I have enough resources here that I don't need to hog up the online stuff for people that don't. I do get a lot of beautiful things um, local. I'm lucky. Okay, Kirsten, thank you. But I, I mean, like, I, I don't come across a lot of this at all. This is like it's from the estate sale. I, I never see it. I didn't really know what it, was worth, what it even was until I saw um, Gina had it, a lot of it. Uh, you know, she has it. But it's beautiful, but I might have a pair of earrings, actually. I don't know where they are. <clears throat> Congrats, thank you. Things are starting to get lost. Um, not all of it, but some things get lost. I'm not perfect. I lose things. I thought I had another stick pin. Did I open it already? I have a hat pin. I don't know. All right. I don't worry about it. How about these Trafari earrings? You're welcome. Thank you. It's very cool. These are lovely. No, I did not confirm if these are Alfred Philippe or not. They're from his era, the time period should I say. These are signed Crown Trafari with the copyright. These are the mid-century, not the early. These are 55 to 69. They have Trafarium. That was their own metal coating that they made. And it's, uh, it stands the test of time. These are fabulous clip bearings. And those are a root bear color. Look at that. And clear. These are nice. I don't know if they're his or not. I didn't go on the patent website can't remember. I need to write down the patent website. <laughs> I mean, I know how to find it, but look. Lovely. These are about an inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Crown Trafari clear and a root bear color. They look crystals or crystal. Yeah, I believe they're crystals. I think I have. Well, yeah, I have some. Let me offer these. These are fantastic. Let me see if anybody wants them. If not, these are 50 if anybody's interested. I'll bring something out next, Jennifer. 
these are Crown Trafari mid-century clip earrings. The newfound appreciation for Crown Trafari. Not all of it. I mean, <laughs> I don't mean, wait, I don't want to sound that way. There's different levels of Crown Trafari like there's everything else. Um, and these ones I need to research more if I don't sell for that. And we'll see where I go with that later. Um, maybe they'll come back or they'll go online. But 50 now. They're clips. The clips are good. Here's the back. They are signed Crown Trafari with a copyright. And there's the back. They're coating the Trafarium. Uh, does, it's not faded. These look brand new. But these are, um, I don't know, 70 years old, approximately. Something like that. It could be 60, 70 years old. All right, we'll pass on them. I need to research them more. I just thought I'd offer them. Um, where, let me put them here. I do have more sterling. I have a couple rings. I have, I have the Thunderbird. I'll bring him out in a minute. This is Malachite and Sterling Silver. Let me give you a size on it. It's not a real world. Um, it's not. I think it's like a six. Nah, a little bit bigger. It's a six and a half. And it's Malachite. And I don't know if it's signed Sterling or if anything. It may not be signed. Not all of them are. No, I think it's more. It's um. It's not signed. I think this is a vintage ring. And that's Malachite. It's not a, it's pretty heavy, but it does have a stone in it, and malachite is a heavy stone. So I'm not going to weigh the silver. doesn't make much sense because malachite is a heavier stone. Can you see the... Okay. All right. This, what did I say? It was a six and a half. Let me put price down for it. All right. If anybody's interested in this, it's... um. It's 28. That's I think that's a good price. Here, let me show you what it looks like in the back. It's not signed. This is about an inch hair. Uh, a little bit smaller, actually, probably. The stone is probably like three quarters of an inch from... Yeah, about three quarters of an inch from hair to hair. You don't care about the oh, so I'll just mail the ones tomorrow and then invoice you the one the necklace. Okay, all right. I was thinking they may end up getting a, like needing to getting a little heavier than you know once you get up to with shipping and close to a pond it gets more. Okay, I'm gonna pass on this. Um, I have more. I have. I don't want to sell this because one of the malachite, one of the not malachite, one of the things are broken off of it. I don't want to sell that. Um. I have this. Let me offer this. Good night, Donna. Thank you for coming and thank you for your purchases. This is a fabulous little fella. <laughs> this is a vintage T. Yazzie. Um, Tim Yazzie. He's silversmith. A third or fourth generation. I can't remember. I had myself all tuned into it last week when the necklace sold. But it's signed T. Yazzie back there in Sterling. And this is about an eight. And it has a... The, yeah, it is an eight. Look. With turquoise is fabulous. It's green. It is American turquoise. They are a Navajo family of silversmiths. And it's spelled Y-A-Z-Z-I-E. He's a fantastic little thing. I really, I like this ring. Um, um, he's being sacrificed to me. No, I'm checking. If anybody wants some, if nobody wants some, then I keep them, right? Okay. So, um... It's one and a half inches this way. All right. Wow. I died down 15 people like quick. Somebody like. That's all right. That's weird when that happens. Okay. This is not a buy it now. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to. This is an auction and he starts in 100 if anybody wants them. He's fantastic. Tim Yazzie. I could use a cleaning. It's um, it's signed Sterling, and T Yazzie up 
top with like a bird or something in here. I don't know what that is. Maybe a feather. I'm getting really close. I did. I tied down like 20 people like fast. Do you see that? All right. That's Tim Yassi. All right. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to look for something else to show. Um, I do have a little bit of other. Um, I have like some sterling and crystal earrings. Those and then sterling and mother of pearl and peridot. Okay. I'm going to pass on this. Okay. I really like the ring, I'm not gonna lie. Um I have to I'll reprice them maybe or keep it. All right. Um this is uranium. This is a heart. It has uranium on it. All the greens are uranium. It's a it's a little like an inch, low over an inch, you see, of uranium all on it. And the blue, yellow, and pink stones. If anybody wants this little uranium heart, this is 18. If anybody's interested in this, <clears throat> it's cute. That's pretty, I think. So I think it's vintage. Don't really, yeah, backing kind of looks. But there it is. Rhinestones has some uranium in it. I do have a number of necklaces. Let me show some of these. Not, oh, I have sterling and amber set I was going to sell. Let me show that. It's pretty. They look pretty even with that. I'll, I think that was long enough, right? Pass on it. Okay. <coughs> All right. I have an, a set. This is amber, um, sterling, and pearls these earrings are sterling silver and amber i'm gonna do the set let me show it to you these are sterling silver i did test them they have um two amber balls on them there those are wires a french hook wire and then this is a sterling silver chain on here with that's a pearl and that is amber and i think they match well enough um, let me give you a measurement on the, and I'll give you a price of what I was going to sell both of them for together. It measures, it's, it's not a big piece, um, like substantial, but I, I like the smaller piece, 18 inch chain myself. All right. 18 inch chain. And this is a little over an inch. All right, I think it's a nice little set. If anybody's interested in a set, it's it's thirty eight for the amber ball earrings and the amber, and that is a freshwater pearl. That's a real pearl on there, and it's sterling as well. Even though these don't have pearls, I think they still match well enough. Maybe <laughs> I think they do. like the earrings. I actually have a ring that they kind of match. Look. It's my flying saucer ring. I call it. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it matches. Um, well, this one's a little darker, maybe. But they match well enough. But anyways, we'll pass on. That's fine. <clears throat> I might keep these for if my ring. They match my um my ring, the earrings. My flying saucer ring, I call that. All right, I'll pass on that. All right, all right, all right. Oh, good God. Sorry. I do have more sterling. Nothing substantial, though, really. Just some earrings. I have some, um... <coughs> what else do I have? Rose quartz necklace. Let me show you this. This is a strand. This is a little stretch bracelet in a strand of rose quartz. And the necklace is long strands of rose quartz. They're chunks. Medium sized chunks. All right. Anyways, this, the rose quartz necklace and the bracelet. It's a little set. If anybody wants this. Hmm. 
I don't have any of that. I know that. I, it's something I don't find a lot of. I'll keep my eye out. Dragonflies. No. Let me look. Let me see what I have. If anybody wants this, as far as quartz, it's 22 for the necklace and the bracelet if anybody's interested. I didn't measure this, did I? It's long. Okay. <laughs> I have it doubled up. This is like a 38 to, or 40 inch necklace. I can measure it in case somebody wants to know. <clears throat> I'll look though. Let me see what I pulled out here. It's it's like a 32 inch necklace. I'm doubled up, but there we go. There's that. Um, I just dropped something. Oh, my earring holder. It's okay. All right. Let me see what I have here. Um, I have two. <laughs> I have a mouse. Let's see. Necklaces. I have some glass necklaces. I have Parada. I didn't test this and see if it was sterling. Though. Let me scratch this real quick. All right. I'm just going to leave it hang there for a minute, and I will remove it in a minute and put a pass. Let me see what else I have. I got to test this and see if it's sterling. I didn't think it was. But I never, you never know. I don't. Sometimes I'm off on spot, and if it's not usually sterling. All right. Um, no. So it's not sterling. So I have a Peridot chip necklace. Um, ugh. Sorry, this acid's wicked. Like a handy dandy acid box. It's been great for me. Um, keeps it from spilling. All right, I'll move the rose quartz and pass on that. All right. Um, I don't have a whole lot of animals today. I do have this little fella. Look how cute. This is a vintage mouse. I don't know who the maker is because I don't see one on it. But look, it's really cute. He has a little articulate tail and a rhinestone eye. It's brown, I think. If, I don't know if there's any mouse likers. I'm, I'm not liking them myself. Not him, but the mice. Twelve. <laughs> My daughter had a mouse, the 12 year old, just not long ago. And it, well, last year, year before it died. They lived like, it lived one year. It's Ratatouille. Hi. Hi, Dan. Um, Don. It's Ratatouille. Could be. Is he reading or something? No, but look at his little whiskers. He's adorable. He's a vintage little mouse. <laughs> He's got a really long tail. one eyeball <laughs> that's a side profile right i mean or one cat ripped one of its eyes no i'm joking it's a side profile he's adorable there's the back little mouse okay we'll pass on him um oh he was sold within a cat originally he's pretty cool i thought he was adorable all right what else do i have i showed some things he didn't sell um <laughs> my Ross signs. I'm put that on mine for that or a little more and that'll go quick, I think. Um all right, what else do I have? Let me see. I have these neck I thought these were nice. Okay, let me show you one more real quick. Praying hands, um, class. It's long. I don't know if this does not have a class, okay? This is a long glass necklace um has gold in between kind of looks like vitriol glass but i don't think so it just kind of looks color like that because of the gold these are like a brassy copper in the middle anyways um there's that it's a nice long glass necklace let me tell you how long it is and i'll put a price in here alan mouse i don't i don't even know or alien did you say alan okay i don't know what that is is that what its name was you're saying? He only has one eyeball. All right, this is long. This is 40 inches, and the total drop is 25. Has that little tassel sash thing on the bottom of it. And I don't know. Here. It's hard to hang up, like, in this position, but... Uh, I'm going to put a price in, see if there's anybody here that likes this. Um, it's 28 It's glass and clear, you know, like AB glass. And like the copper metallic in between.
there it's long i don't think i don't know if you could get this over your head though honestly like All right, I'm going to pass on it. I think it was long enough, right? Am I not selling it well? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm trying. And what else? Is there anything anybody's waiting to see that I had that I showed? Um, I think I sold a portion of it. It's some of it that I showed didn't sell that I have over here. Um, I have a whistler ne listener necklace here. It's nice. It's a nice necklace. Let me show it. Oh, wait, how about the Peridot? This is Peridot chips. This is not Sterling Findings on here. I tested it. But it's long. And this is Peridot chips. I feel like the camera is so, like, too small for me to show everything. I guess start going camera up again. Um, this is 25 inches around the neck, a total drop of 18. I'm going to double it up and put it on the green neck. It is Peridot chips. Um, it's like a, it's not sterling. This is a, I don't know exactly. It's, it's metal. It's silver time. All right. If anybody is interested in this, it's, it's 26. It has little flowers on it. The Peridot. All right. I need some water. All right. Um, it feels hot in here. I mean, it's not, it's not hot outside. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not. It's cold down um, dramatic, a lot here in um, where I live. So it's not hot. I, I just feel hot. All right, we'll pass. That's another pass. Um, let me see if I have anything that might be of interest. Um, I guess I might go show reshow the things if there's anybody new here. I like some of them I won't wear the price on though because they're worth what I asked. All right. Um, this is Coro. These are Coro. I, I've showed these before. These are Coro signed in script. There's uranium on them. I don't remember when I showed them, but I, I know I did. <laughs> if I, but they're pretty. They have the blue, green, and purple on them. And the green is the uranium. There's one on each one. They're signed script. They're Coro earrings. If anybody likes these ones, um, just put them here quickly. 18. They There's the signature back here. C-O-R-O. -O. You probably cannot say it. They have a plating. It's gold toned they're nice though these are flowers like a bouquet and you would actually wear them like that maybe that way i don't know which one one or the other Does. It feels extremely warm. I think I'm under too many lights. All right, I'm gonna leave these hanging here. Um, I don't know what else to show. What time is it? It's 9:23. Um, I'll show a few more things. I'll, I'll keep going. I'm starting to get tired. Um, all right, I'll pass on these. All right. I do collect Coro, not all of it. I like the older, I like the 1940s um, Coro. I collect war period jewelry, predominantly. That's what I've started with. Um, and I have found it, and I like Victorian, I have a few Victorians, but I don't collect all of it. And sometimes I pull things out to sell even if I do. That's, that's, um, sometimes you have to sell stuff when that's what you're doing for a living. And this is my job now. This is how I make my money. So I sell stuff sometimes. All right, let me show this. This is, I think this is pretty fit. Oh, look at these, look at these little fellas. I don't know who the maker is on us. I can't make it out. Damco or something. Look at the little ghosts, the little um, kitties. There's, I'm calling them scatter pins or pins. Angel cats. There's two of them. And they're pretty cute. Gold tone in. Pewter. They look like pewter and gold tone. Gold tones. It's silver tone. Here, I will offer these for both of them for 10 if anybody wants to cats. 
I don't know exactly what they say back there. Damco, I think. Not sure. This is Smokey and Samuel. Those were two of my past cats. They're cute. And no, I don't collect all Koro. You don't collect all of everything. I mean, I can't. It's not really. I do like Koro's jewelry, though. Um, like the older stuff. I have. Their Koro Sterling's beautiful. I have a few pieces I was lucky enough to find. All right, I'll pass a couple bugs and some earrings. And um, they're cute. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know what to show. I feel lackluster. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, how about these? Um, these are faux tor uh, tortoiseshell, like earrings. Look. Uh, they're nice, I think. These were in with the signers in the same store. Those were cats. Oh, do I have bees? No. I'm sorry. I, I probably do, and I could pull some out. Maybe I'll bring some Thursday or next week. I have a thrifty Thursday, too, on Thursday. You know that, I think, right? Miller Fury. No. No Miller Fury earrings. I have a lot of what was in my preview video. I'm, I don't want to pull boxes out or anything. I don't have. I don't even think I have any Miller Fury earrings. I sold a fabulous necklace last week. I sell pre-sale, too. All right, these are not signed. Here's the back look. I think these are cool. I mean, you have to like them, though, obviously, and want to wear them. Looks like a squirrel on the bottom, kind of. Vintage faux Mela Fury hair. If anybody wants these, they, they are $15. I will tell I have I have a hat pin. I have some um Irwin Pearl earrings hair that are gold plated and um and crystals. I have those. I showed the signers already. They were pretty fabulous. Um I have a pair of Florenza earrings with cadmium. I have a pair of Roman crystal and gold plated earrings. Um, Roman brand. Napier butterfly. Crown Trafari. I have that. This is Crown Trafari mid century. White enamel brooch. It's signed Crown Trafari back there. If the crown over the teeth. This is a Majorca pearl ring. I have that. All right. I'll pass on these. That's. I'm, I'm probably going to go in a minute. Um, I don't know what to show. That's why. Um, okay, just let me show a couple more things and I'll go. <coughs> I don't have like any of that stuff pulled out in front of me. I'm sorry. I just have what I picked um, to bring today. I can keep that in mind for when I come on again, though. Okay. I don't think I have any Mill of Fury, though. Um, these are crystal. This is a cube in sterling. These are pretty cool, I think. Look. I'll hang them up and show them. It's easier for me. They're sterling silver and a yellow crystal. They're they're cubes like this. It's sterling. The wires are sterling. I have those. These are peridot and mother of pearl and sterling silver. All right. And, all right, so, I have these. These would be, well, I don't want to do them together. Like, if choice. These ones are sterling silver. They're about a three-inch drop. That is a crystal cube. These ones are a buy it now if anybody's interested. I will sell them for 24 on these. They're nice, I think. They're pretty cool. a cube all right but uh the other ones are a little less than these but these ones 24 i mean that's a good price for these earrings are pretty nice they don't have a designer name on their sign 925 and they are sterling i tested them and that looks like a uh what do you call those cubes i can't remember all right i'll pass <clears throat> I'm going to re-show a couple of, if there's any, is there anybody new here It wasn't here in the beginning? I don't know. 
or if there's anything anybody was waiting to see that I showed in my preview video, you can ask that and I could sh um, show them possibly. Uh, let me offer this, I guess. I don't know who's here. I don't see much communication going on. Um, this is uh, Crown Trafari and it's mid-century. It has the copyright signature on it. <clears throat> um, yeah, okay, here. I don't know, it's about a little over two inches. If anybody wants it, I will sell this for 20 which I think is a good deal. There's the back. It's signed right there. It's hard to see. I can't really enlarge my camera here to show you. But there's that. That's the white enamel. And this is the dating's 55 to 69 on it. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Way off the camera. I just turned around looking at something else. <clears throat> All right. All right. I'm going to pass. I think it was long enough. There's not much to say about it. It's metal, white enamel. It's crown for 55 to 69. If you're a collector of that, you might be interested in that. Um. All right. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, not, I'm a little off sync here, I feel like. Um. I will come back on. I'll be back on Thursday. I'm going to end it. I'm, I'm getting hungry. And I've been feeling a little under the weather. Um, but I will keep in mind the type of things that I, that you asked for, Jennifer, and um, la uh, Lady Ola, when I come back, I'll try to find some things. I mean, I didn't show everything, but um, I, I think, I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of passes. I just feel off sync or something so i'll come back if anybody had anything that i showed that they wanted to see i i could show that but i can't go pull out of boxes i'm not going to do that <coughs> not right now um but i'll i'll keep it in mind and bring some of that on thursday but thank you for joining me those the sales that i made i will email i might do it now actually i'm gonna paypal do the paypal invoicing now probably as i eat um okay all right. Yeah, I understand. We all are. I mean, I made sales. And that's fine. I just didn't want to keep showing and like pass and then showing and pass. It just makes you feel like, ugh, you know what I mean? And, you know, and I, if I didn't have anything of interest, I didn't want to keep showing it um, also. But I, I'll i bring some on Thursday. I'll get some stuff together and I'll be on for Thrifty Thursday. If anybody comes on and sees this video and you want to purchase anything, I, I will honor the price. Um, on everything except for that sterling bracelet, because that's worth at least double that. But the other things I will, if anybody comes on and sees me. Yeah, thank you. I, I will talk to you all later. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And um, I'm pooped, too. I've been I've been a little under the weather. Um, like, I have a cold and some upper respiratory thing going on, a cold or flu. So I'm going to eat in an invoice, and I'll be back Thursday. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. I'll talk to everybody later. Thank you.